today is a really exciting day for me because I've got a new rifle from Victrix Armaments. Let's take a look and see what's inside the box. The box has already been cut open by our registered firearm dealer um, and then when it was put onto my license uh, we had to make sure the serial numbers matched. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through exactly what you will get when you buy a new Victrix Gladio V. So it comes in a cardboard box. And then within the cardboard box, uh, there is a really rugged Peli case. Let's move that to one side. This is a look at the case itself. So it's got multiple points uh, where you can add padlocks. It's got four clips, a large carrying handle. Uh, there's a vent here as well. So if you are taking it air freight, uh, you can open the vent uh, just so that the case doesn't pop. It's got a nice little Victrix armaments decal there. Just having a look around. It's got really rugged hinges. Uh, these are normally what you can expect to find on any other rifle pelly case. Let's open up the pelly case and see what's inside. Inside the case, it's all packed out with foam. Uh, so this one doesn't have the laser cut inserts. Uh, but you can request that as an optional extra. Um, that would make it quite nice just so that everything has a slot. Within the case itself, you have a protective blanket almost, or a sleeping bag for your rifle, just so that you can put it to bed, which is nice. You've got a welcome pack from Victrix. Within the welcome pack, you can expect to find a Victrix armaments patch. A notebook, so this is this could be used as a little notebook for the rifle or a dope book or anything. You can keep it in the case, it's really handy to have. There's this little tool here, and that will come more apparent later, but this is used for taking apart the bolt or doing maintenance on the rifle. Victrix lanyard, Victrix pen. Go with a notebook. And then in here you have a small spring and a bolt, a lens cloth, some stickers, the right stickers, and then the user manual. And that's written in a number of languages. Also to note, this manual actually covers most of the rifles within the Victrix range. So as you're going through, just make sure that you are reading about the correct rifle. The bolt comes in a separate box, so we open up the box and as you can see that's in pre-cut foam and these are lovely bolts. But yeah, the bolt comes in a separate box. Let's take the rifle out and have a look at the rifle itself. So I've got the rifle out of the case, just loosen off the toggle. And these are stows uh, within this case, muzzle end first, it just makes it easier for grabbing the rifle so you can grab the pistol grip and then you can remove the rifle from the case. is an amazing rifle. It's got a 
a really good weight to it as well because it's got a heavy match barrel. Really solid construction. Let's have a quick look around the rifle. I'll put it in the case and then show you around the rifle. Starting from the stock, you can see you've got the butt pad and it's an adjustable butt pad. Uh, you can also extend the length of pull. You've got a nice insulated cheek rest and you can adjust the height of the cheek rest there. It's got a retractable monopod. All of this nice knurling on the front of the stock, that's, that helps you get a good grip on there and also it's got sort of like a finger grip hole there. Folding stock, ergo grip. It's got the professional series trigger. So this is a dual stage trigger at the moment. So a two stage trigger can be converted into a single stage and it's fully adjustable. It's got the safety up here, magazine release, a magazine. So this comes with a single stack, seven round, I believe magazine, but it does take AICS magazines. So it's compatible with all of the magazines that I currently own, which is brilliant. You've got the multifunction handle. This has got features such as a rope sling attachment. You can mount it on tripods. So there's different tripod mounting bits there. Also at the front, there's a magnetic bit holder so that you can use this as part of your maintenance kit. It's got two Picatinny rails along the bottom. Along the top, it's got a 20 MOA rail that goes all the way from the action all the way down to the front of the rifle. And then at the end, we've got the three port pro angle muzzle brake. I just flipped the rifle over so you can see the other side of the muzzle brake. This is the other side of the forend. It's all M-lock forend. There's the quick release for the multifunction handle. You've got the bolt release button. You've got the stock fold button. And at the back, you can see the adjustment for the butt pad. I hope you enjoyed this video unboxing the new Vitrix Gladio V rifle. Um, I will be doing a series of videos that will cover everything you need to know from getting the rifle out of its box to taking it to its first competition. I expect the rifle will outshoot me, um, so I just need a, a lot of practice with this. If you don't already, follow this channel. If you have any questions about the Victrix Gladio V, I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge, but keep an eye out for my video series because I will be covering a lot of answers to your questions within those videos. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and please drop me a comment below. If you didn't enjoy it, I really hope that you do enjoy some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching.